One of the most unique aspects of the Adult Cardiothoracic Anesthesia Fellowship here at the Mayo Clinic is the small class size of three fellows at one of the biggest and most complex surgical practices in the country. When thinking about program class size, it's important to keep in mind the overall fellowship objective. We've intentionally kept our fellowship class size small to allow our fellows to have the best educational experience possible without the worry of learner competition. Given that there's very little, if any, fellow overlap on any rotation, this allows fellows the freedom to choose which surgical cases they feel would be most educational to them. So from a clinical perspective, I feel that we have a really good exposure. Uh, not only are we exposed to the bread and butter cases that we will see in a private practice setting, but also we get to see these very complex pathologies that are only seen at bigger institutions such as the Mayo Clinic. And this is all possible due to our close partnership with the cardiology department. Finally, we learned to do supervisor role from the very beginning of the fellowship which allow us to transition to independence and ultimately gives us an experience that is very close to a cardiac anesthesia job. The beauty of the ECHO experience here at Mayo Clinic is it's a five-month comprehensive, what I would consider is a world-class ECHO experience, and it starts with a month of transthoracic, and that allows trainees to really develop the fundamentals of echocardiography and also work on their ability to do surface ECHO, which they can take with them into their future practice. There are a number of weekly conferences and, and didactics the trainees will be able to engage with. Our outside the operating room practice, where trainees learn the fundamentals of TE and also are able to experience interventional echo up in the cardiac cath lab. We have a simulator lab that allows them to practice prior to coming to the operating room. And then, obviously, the operating room, we have one of the busiest practices in the country. The volume and breadth of cases that our fellows get is as good as anywhere else in the country. Aside from emphasizing a strong clinical and didactic experience for our fellows, we provide research opportunities if that's what a fellow desires. The Mayo Clinic has immense resources and support systems in place, but again, this is not mandated if it does not align with a fellow's career goals. The fellow and attending relationship in our fellowship is very special. Given the small fellowship class size and relatively small number of core faculty in our division, we get to know our fellows very well and spend a lot of time with them during the year. It's fun to watch them transition into their careers and to hear how their training prepared them for their practice. Fellows that graduate from our program will have the skill set and confidence to pursue any opportunity they desire, whether that's an academic or private practice job, a model that's supervisory or independent practice. Our graduates are ready on day one to provide clinical care at the highest level in any setting. Our fellowship is structured so that fellows rapidly progress from an in-room provider role to functioning in a supervisory role model where they cover multiple cardiac cases simultaneously. This allows for an exponential increase in exposure and pattern recognition for common as well as uncommon clinical scenarios. I would tell them that the whole place is set up for them to, to train and be the best cardiac anesthesiologist they could be and the best echocardiographers they could be. If you want to come and learn to be the best you can be, I would come here. That's what I wanted from my training. I wanted to be part of a big institution, but a small program that I give, will give me a personalized training with excellent educators, with research opportunities, and I wanted to be part of the best institution of the country.